Right, hello, welcome back to another Destiny 2 Witch Queen trailer video. So this is going to be on the weapons and gear trailer, my opinions and me reacting to it. So we're going to get straight into it. Um, I know there's a couple of exotics and stuff, but we'll have a look. Okay, first of all, there's a lot to break down here, but that is very, very cool. I love the fact that it's a cinematic. Cinematic makes it so cool. So, the first thing to point out is the obviously crafting section that it, it spoke about here. So, um, this is crafting your own weapons. Uh, I believe it showed you a little bit of an example. Um, so, obviously, you know, you craft the weapon, you get the stat modifications, you get the uh, all the perks. So, obviously, this one has triple tap, dragonfly, ekrash rounds, an arrowhead break. Um, so, this can happen on multiple guns. I know there's a, I know a little bit about this. Um, I was talking to my friend Jay. He uh, spoke about it. There's a certain weapon with a different border to everything else. If you get that weapon, the perks that are on that weapon can actually be then like unlocked, kind of thing. For if you craft that specific weapon again. So if you've got another perk on a gun that you like that doesn't have that perk, but you've got another perk on this gun that you like, you can put that perk onto it. But that was quite cool. Another thing to mention here is I believe this craftable exotics, I believe one of the exotics shown is supposed to be craftable. Um, but I don't know much else about that bit. So, the first exotic that we saw was Grand Overture, which is a slug launcher char that charges full auto missiles. Okay, so uh, it essentially fires like a machine gun after it's charged up, which is quite cool. But obviously you see it here. Um, I'm not sure how that's going to be, there's not much more information about that. I know it's a season pass weapon, so I can't imagine it's going to be broken. So I'm excited to see what that one does. Parasite, which is the one that made me chuckle the first time I saw it. Uh, it's a worm launcher with increasing damage. It literally shoots hive worms. It's beautiful. And then there's this gun that's coming up, which is Osteo Striga, or however you pronounce it. Swarming projectiles trigger a toxic burst. So this one's going to be interesting because it's kind of like Thorn, but fast fire rate. So this one could be a little bit broken, uh, especially with uh, SMGs always being relatively strong. So this should be an interesting gun to see. I also like the aesthetic on that one. Look at the uh, the scope and how it's like cracked. Um, I just thought it was a cool aesthetic. There's also then the glaives. So this one places like a mini bubble, which could be cool. They all seem like kind of support ones other than the hunter. So this one's a healing turret. And then this one is the one that's a little bit weird compared to the other two. Because the other two are quite support items. This one's just full blown damage. Why is that? That one seems so much better than the other two. Um, so that one could be a problem later on. So there's this chest plate for the Titans, which re replaces their normal wall with a stasis wall, which is rather cool. Uh, and then there's the gloves for the warlock that have the additional pulse snap grenade, as you can see, better tracking. And then bright ranger helmet. Reflective projectiles deal increased damage. So the cold snap grenade one I don't think is going to be too much of a problem to be honest. It could be a little bit broken. Um, this one's going to be a problem if they don't nerf this super because it already did shit tons of damage. But look at that. Jesus Christ. And I don't think there's any other exotics mentioned. I think that was the last one. Um, but yeah, as from what I can see, a lot of these will be balanced but some of them look a little bit on the powerful side. 
Uh, I, I was speaking to my friend Jay again about the balancing team and stuff, and the balancing team are doing a very good job. It's the new content G uh, team. They kind of fuck up their job because they release all these new things, and the balancing team like just don't have anything to do with it. So it takes them a little bit to fix it. So the, some of these weapons will probably be a bit po powerful on release. Well, I imagine when the balancing team get their hands on them, there'll be interesting weapons to see using PVE and PVP. Um, but that's all for this video. Uh, it was only a short video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you later. Goodbye. Dripping like a school. It's gonna fall with school. Maybe gonna school. She funny with it. Cool. B54.